Hello everyone, and welcome to the Broward Center for the Performing Arts. My name is Tammy Holder, and I'm the artist in residence here at the Broward Center. I'm here to talk to you about an exciting smart stage show that you're going to see. It's called Curious George, the Golden Meatball. Curious George, the Golden Meatball is a show based on characters from a series of books written by H.A. Ray. Has anyone read a Curious George book? Has anyone seen a Curious George cartoon? Well, this Curious George is gonna take place live on stage, and you're gonna see actors singing, dancing, and acting, all telling you the story. Before you see the show, I'm gonna take you through a fun Smart Stage Plus activity where we're gonna explore characters in the show and also what it's like to be an actor, while also learning about one of the most important parts of a story, characters. I'm so glad you're joining me for this exciting theater adventure. Please enjoy Curious George, the Golden Meatball. Hi everyone, welcome to the Rose Miniachi Arts Education Center and our PLUS workshop for Curious George, the Golden Meatball. During this workshop, we are going to explore the story and we are going to learn some theater skills while learning about one of the most important parts of a story, the characters. Like we said, the characters and Curious George, the Golden Meatball, they are based on characters from a series of books. Now, when you see the show on stage, do you think that someone's gonna walk out, open up the book and begin to read? This is George, he lived in Africa. He was a good little, would that be a fun show? No, what's gonna happen is we are gonna take the words from the page and we're gonna put them up on the stage. Can you say that with me? Say, take it from the page and put it on the stage. Can you say that with me like it's a secret? Take it from the page, put it on the stage. Can you say that like you're curious? Hmm, take it from the page and put it on the stage. And can you say that like you are so excited? <gasps> take it from the page and put it on the stage. Now, how exactly are we gonna do that? Well, actors will be telling the story of Curious George, the Golden Meatball, and they're gonna be telling the story doing three things. They're going to be singing. Can everybody say singing? They're gonna be dancing. Can everybody do your best dance move with me and say dancing? And they're going to be acting. Can everyone strike a dramatic pose and say action? Thank you. Let's review those three again. The three ways that an actor tells a story on stage, singing, singing, dancing, dancing, and my favorite, acting. Thank you. Well, the one we're gonna focus on today is acting. But before we go any further, I have to turn you all into fabulous actors. Come closer to the screen, closer, even more. Ready, here we go, one, two, three, boom! Wow, you're an actor! <gasps> look at someone in your house and go, look, I'm an actor! Look at the camera and say, hello, I'm an actor. No autographs, please. All right, actors, what we're gonna do now is explore one of the most important things an actor does, and that is create a character. And in a book, the most important element of a book are the characters. Characters are people, animals, or creatures that think, feel, or act, just like an actor on stage. Now, how can an actor become a character? We use our face, we use our voice, and we use our whole body to create a character. First, let's explore how to create a character using just our face. We're gonna play a game now. What I'm gonna do is call out a feeling. And I want you to put that feeling, actors, in your face. And I'm gonna say three, two, one, and you're going to reveal the feeling in your face, just like mine. Ready? The first one is happy. Three, two, one, happy. 
Was your face nice and happy? I bet it was. The second one is sad. Can you put sad in your face? Ready? Three, two, one. Sad. Oh, so sad. The third one is excited. Ready? Put excited in your face like an actor would. Three, two, one. Excited. And the last one, just like the hero in our story, Curious George, can you put curious? What would curious look like in your face? Ready? Three, two, one. Hmm. That was great. You used your face to create all these feelings just like an actor does. So, we were creating characters with our face. Now, let's add our whole body and create a statue that shows a specific character. The first statue I want you to do is a superhero. Can you put a superhero in your face and in your whole body with me? Here we go. Three, two, one, superhero! Dun, dun, dun. I bet you're gonna save the world, you superheroes. The next one is a rock star. Can you put a rock star in your body like an actor? Ready? Three, two, one, rock star! Woohoo! Now, let's do some characters from the show that we're going to see. We're gonna use Curious George. Now, think about the details about this character. He's curious and he's a monkey. Now, how can we put those details of this character in our body as an actor? Let's try. Ready? Three, two, one. Curious George. Let's do another character from the show. The man with the yellow hat. Now, some details about this character. He's George's friend, but sometimes he has to scold George when he gets in trouble. So he's very, very serious. So can you put the character of the man with the yellow hat in your body? Ready? Three, two, one. That was a great man with a yellow hat. So that was so fun creating characters with our face, with our voice, and with our whole body. And when you watch the show, I want you to notice how the actors on the stage are creating these characters. While you're watching the show, I want you to identify how the actors are creating characters. I want you to pick out any people, animals, or creatures, and notice how the actors are using their face, their voice, and their body to tell the story of Curious George, the Golden Meatball. Now, it was so fun creating characters from the show. Would you like to meet some of the characters from the show? I know I would. Come on, let's go. Hey, Curious George, come on out and say hi to all my new friends. George, all the way up. We also get to meet the man with the yellow hat. Hi, Tammy. So curious, George, how long have you and the man with the yellow hat known each other? Ooh, uh, ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> well, George says for as long as he can remember. Wow, that's a long time. You two must be really good friends. So the show we're going to see is called Curious George, the Golden Meatball. And I want to know, what's your favorite food, a banana or a meatball? Uh, ah, ha, ha, oh, ha, 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 Well, George says his favorite food is bananas, but he loves cooking meatballs for all of his friends. How about you, man with the yellow hat? What's your favorite food? Well, even though I'm kind of dressed like a banana, I'd say my favorite food is Chef Paschetti's world famous meatballs. Ah, that's my favorite too. Now, in this show, you all travel to Rome, Italy. Curious, George, what's your favorite thing about visiting Rome? Ah, ah ha ha, oh ah ha ha, ah ha 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 ha. Well, George isn't quite sure. I mean, he loves the nice Italian people and wonderful sights to see like the Colosseum and don't forget about that great Italian food. <laughs> He's not quite sure what his favorite is. I have a question about your name, Curious George. Why isn't your name Excited George or Silly George? What's it mean to be curious? Ah, ah ha ha ha, ah ha ha, oh ha ha ha, ah ha. 
<laughs> While George is silly and excited, he believes the world is filled with such wonder with new people to meet and places to go and adventures to go on because of it. And that's why he's curious. Speaking of curious, we've been discussing how you're both characters in a book. Now, Curious George, is it more fun to be a character in a book or to be performing on stage in a show? Well, I'd say my favorite is being in a book because it gives everyone around the world the opportunity to see what great friends George and I are and the adventures we've gone on. And George's favorite is performing live on stage, singing and dancing for all of his friends, and he can't wait to do that today for you. Well, I'm excited that you're both going to be on stage for this great performance. Thank you so much for taking time to stop by and visit with me and my new friends. Bye, everybody. Have a great show. Uh -huh. Bye. All right, I think it's time for us to watch the live stream performance. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Teachers, be sure to check out the study guide. It contains lots of fun activities to keep the learning going and making those arts connections with your academic standards. Enjoy the show.